This is my relation. My relation. This is not my position in time. This is not my nation. No nation. I am a citizen of the world. The world. I am a boy. You, you are a girl. girl. I feel like <coughs> shit. <coughs> Marcius Swamp in a beautiful place where no human has ever shown his face. There lives a colony of frogs who, the philosophical kind, sit out on logs and shine, shine, shine. And somewhere off I think the landlord's here. Yesterday I could lift my leg and today I cannot. In terms of when you're getting, you're having a degenerative disease or you're, you're losing things or you're getting older in that sense. And think less about what is it that I lost yesterday that I don't have today. And think more about what do I have today that I've not really explored in a way that I've never really explored it. Like what can I learn about just what I have in a way that I have not gone deep enough into it to learn a new way to do things. In other words, 
Most people do things the same way all the time. And that's just the way they do things because they're used to it. They're comfortable. They learned a way and they got a system down. But if you lose the ability to do that thing in that way, either you figure out a new way to do it or you stop doing it. For example, I saw this guy skiing and he was like, first I saw him in a wheelchair and then I saw him skiing, but he was skiing in like a seat with a ski on it and these two poles. And I was like, holy fuck, dude, I don't have to stop snowboarding. I just have to change what I was doing. I don't have to, you learn a new sport. You don't stop doing your sport. It's like you figure out a new way to light a lighter, to drink a glass of water, to uh, eat a fucking dinner plate and cut your food. You better figure out a new way or stop. But someone has been doing it that way for a really long time and they don't even fucking know you and they don't even know another way because that's what they were born with. And they figured it out and they're quite happy. So that means there's a space for you in your process to be happy in all of your phases. Figure it out, you'll be happier. That's, that's what I've been learning. Seven days to do whatever it is that you feel that you need to do. If you need to build a website, be like, okay, in seven days, my website's going to be built. And then what you'll find is you'll be able to do it in seven days. Before, you would have taken you months. So we have this project with this Harley. It's like, okay, you want to do it in seven days. And so, okay, today will be our first day that we start. I'm going to sit down and draw it all down. Maybe we won't be able to do it in seven days. But if we try to do it in seven days, it's going to get much done or done much quicker than the two years it's been sitting there almost finished. People bring things to the almost finished point. How many things in your life do you have that are almost finished? Look around your house, look in your garage, things that are almost finished. In reality, you could actually finish those things in seven days. But the reason why you don't is why? Because you are attached to the fact that you actually restored it. You're attached to the memorabilia of the story and you know that once you do that, it's over. It's like the breakup comes. But then, once you do that, you can do new things. So, try this out. Look around your house and try and choose one or two things that you could actually finish up, wrap up, take care of and do that you've been procrastinating for quite some time. See if you can do them in the next seven days and see how your life begins to change. Because what happens is energetically, you move some things out and you make space for new things. And then you get new things. I'm going to give me a fucking attention cat with no hair because I'm going to look at Yeah, yeah. A million dollars. Nah. I'm going to become the bad guy. You hear me? I'm a, I have a plan. That's your plan. Get an Egyptian cat with no hair. No. Get the ship with the sub. The ship, the sub, and the Egyptian cat with no hair. <laughs> Nigga, you watch some motherfucking cheap ass movies. You need, you, you might need a higher quality of entertainment, bro. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I've seen it in a movie already. It was Austin Powers. I don't care. So I'm not saying the dream is bad. I, I didn't say the dream was bad. I'm just saying it's been done. I'm going to right now, and I will be, once I get the boat and the sub, I'm going to go by, I'm going to El Negro de la Noche. El Mambo de la Noche. I'm going to go by that name. El Negro de la Noche. El Malo. Okay? You're going to call your cat, you're going to call your hairless Egyptian cat El Negro de la Noche. No, that's my, that's my name. Your name is El Negro de la Noche. Yeah, that's my bad guy name. Happy you didn't know that? No. No. Bro. What? You're gonna be loved. I know. And you're gonna be hated. I am. Thank you. Now you're finally starting to see what that's why I need a little thing to be lining up. These these women they can't help themselves. They're like, ooh, I gotta get a little you want the women to line up? No, they are. I'm telling you. They're already lining up. I'm telling you. Yes. Dude, do you know what type of problems are? Do you know what one woman is like? How do you handle more than one? One is enough to put any man to put any man into like stress. You want to have multiple? They don't know. They don't speak to me. I'm telling you what is going on, my brother. Ciao, Negro.
You like that, right? No, sorry. El Negro de la Noche, el malo puto. Adios. About what? No, because I know exactly when you when you when you are cooperative and when not, you know, like it's not about being cooperative. I'm lying in the fucking sun. But I want to talk about this as you even shoot, because from an artist's point of view, a photographer says, "Come, we're going to draw an outline on your body." Then you get naked, and a camera comes out. It's like. <laughs> if you were a woman, you'd be like, wait a minute, what's going on? children's stories but maybe they're not actually children's stories maybe they're just stories that are told to children and adults listen and in turn those children become adults who then change not even change but get to plant great seeds in their lives so that their trees bear great fruits do not believe do not accept do not be afraid do not surrender do not judge do not bear false witness against our neighbor when they stop you and drag you in and you ask why, and they say that you fit the profile, run for your life, resist. When they knock down your door and say that they are taking your land in the name of eminent domain, this is not fair, resist. When they pit a people against the people and a nation against the nation in the name of world domination, resist. I was like, I arrived in a wheelchair and I could walk out of there, so. It was, did. yeah, 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 I did. But after a month of having treatments every single day, getting massages every single day, and then going through their treatments every single day, and taking these concoctions for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the doctor, I've never had medical attention like India. The doctor wakes up at five o'clock in the morning. No, not true. She wakes up at like three and starts preparing the medicine that you're gonna have at five o'clock in the morning. And then comes to you at five in the morning and talks with you and gives you some medicine to take. And straight away, you get to uh, take this medicine and then digest it and then have something else. But like the first thing, like you can go lay down and go back to bed or whatever. But you see her the first thing in the morning, every morning, and then at lunchtime and then later on and then like there's never like someone coming by and lifting up your like no she comes by she talks with you she asks you how you slept how many times you went to the bathroom you know like how you felt like all these different questions she asks you and all throughout the day she's back and forth until dinner time and then before you go to bed like and you're taking medicine and getting massages you're getting the massage she's in there overlooking she doesn't do any of the the actual massaging or the physical work these other assistants of hers are doing it but she's overseeing all of it and uh, the most amazing medical attention and instead of being in a hospital room you get a hut that you live in and the treatments they come and take you from your hut and to the huts where they're gonna have the treatment in there and you go and you get the treatment done and you come back and then you have lunch and you go and you meet with the other people in there and it's like the rains are coming and you're out in the middle of the, the little rural jungle and it, it rains like buckets like every single day, but it's just sand the ground, so it just dissipates again and disappears into nothing. Amazing, amazing time. India. <laughs>
so when I see your faces every day, the next day, the next day, I'm so happy to see you shining, you know. <laughs> Only if you go down, I feel depressed, you know. Not yeah. depressed, I'm so a little bit um, um, anxious of what's happening, what, what was not right with my intuition or my diagnosis. Hmm. So when I feel that every moment you are going to a higher level, it's something ah, amazing. Yeah, and that's the advantage of when you have Insta, so yeah. you really can observe. Yeah, that's but why I don't want so many people here. I want to be with everyone, each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Your mission, 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 your mission